um wanted to come on here um and make this video real quick um a lot of things are happening i made a video when i um what is it i made another video that was on my phone but now uh new information came out uh sorry if i look like a mess by the way um but um what was it what was i about to say yeah that's what i was about to say yeah um in recent news hold on um, in recent news, obviously there's a baby uh, formula shortage, um, in which case I want to sit here and say that um, this goes into something that I said last year or two years ago when um, God, this is like in my earlier videos, I have like a hundred videos now, um, where God told me not to reproduce and have children. And I didn't know what that mean, but then, you know, um, this medicine started coming out. But then I still, <clears throat> but then this, uh, this medicine that they want people uh, to take is, uh, was out. And then that gets into the whole mark of the beast thing, et cetera, zombies. But then, you know, now, um, a baby formula shortage is here in which case would have never seen this coming because now we have not only baby formula shortages, I'm going to talk about this in a minute. We have that. Apparently, there's going to be water shortages. There's, um, they're talking about gas going up to six dollars, and that's like four dollars uh, away from ten dollars um, a gallon. Um, and fun fact, by the way, since I stay in Georgia, um, <laughs> California is the most expensive state. I saw this when I was walking um, past my living room. Um, is the most expensive state with gas, which is why I put up that uh, drug video that's going on in San Francisco. Um, cause it's not only expensive over there and people can, uh, can not only just rob you and kill you and get away with it, all this other stuff, but, um, um, the cost of living, all these other things, but, um, then there's gas and the cheapest state, by the way, is Georgia and we're like at three something, but they're speculating that it's supposed to be a six. And that's the reason why our governor passed something about, um, a gas tax in which, in which case, <laughs> In which case, there are people, uh, what, he's a Republican, uh, uh, I don't know what party he is, but don't care. Um, he recently gave people that um, filed their taxes um, and all these other things uh, money. I got money in my account, so he's helping people out. And then he wants to do something else. He wants to give people money and give people the ability to walk around uh, with their guns and stuff, the Second, uh, uh, the second Amendment stuff or whatever. But... The, 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 was the, rambled on for a minute but my point is is that um this isn't a joke anymore so um i've talked to somebody on the phone about this stuff and i told and i told this person um that you know people will sit here and say whatever they want about me or whatever the case it is but everything i've pretty much i've said that has come from god that's come from god by the way that's come from god has actually happened and it's happening right now in front of our eyes um, I sat here and I sent, uh, mentioned about the uh, Blood in the Sea book that I have um, that's under my uh, pen name, Paul Truther. And then, lo and behold, after I make that video, what, three or four days later, now before um, the red moon pops up, there's uh, blood um, in China. And they're saying they're blaming it on red starch, which <laughs> that, 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 that's retarded. Um, but in terms of going back to the whole baby formula thing shortages, they probably won't be able to get away with this considering I think it was uh, somebody, um, it was a political person um, and they exposed that there basically is no baby, baby formula shortage and it had to do something with um, immigrants and the um, baby formula that's in the warehouses in Texas, um, if I, if I um, recall this uh, correctly. And uh, a lot of people are coming out and saying, um, well, it's just that person. I'm not, I'm not involved with politics. I could care less. Um, but people are coming out and exposing these things. And not just that, um, not just that, but um, due to the um, the who and the whole China thing, uh, the um, the bill they want to pass by the end of this month or whatever the case it is, uh, 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 pertaining to that, it might not happen. It may or it may it might or it might not happen. But in terms of the Ministry of Truth, how they wanted to police the Internet, that didn't go through. And um, the person on Joe Biden's staff, she got fired because uh, they kept getting backlash. Um, 
So that didn't go through. They couldn't police the internet. So that didn't go through. Um, and um, due to the general public um, lashing out on them and all the uh, critical um, comments they were getting. Um, so people's prayers are working um, and stuff is gradually happening. Now, with all this shortage stuff and inflation, I have no idea, but um, people's prayers are working. Um, and so in terms of the who and what they might get away with or whatever, I mean, per me personally, I don't know. Uh, but I prayed about this stuff like a couple days ago, but you know, I would still pray for it, uh, pray against this stuff. But if it happens, it happens. But, um, whatever it is about the month of August, uh, something is coming because something actually important happened and I totally forgot what it was. And it's, it keeps, uh, escaping my mind. Um, but not just that. And I also want to sit here and say that, um, we are actually getting closer to the shift change. Uh, cause I had a, a dream recently, um, about that. And I also want to sit here while I'm talking about this, um, that basically I did see Dr. Strange and there was another movie that came out that they, that they put under the radar. They, uh, really, and if you don't know this, I'm going to explain this to you. When they come out with a popular movie that everybody's talking about, there's always a movie that comes out, um, at the same time or during, or within that time span that slips under the radar that nobody pays attention to. And there was another movie just like Doctor Strange uh, that came out recently and it was called Anywhere Everywhere All at Once. And basically it was uh, it basically got into the whole multiverse thing. And if you don't believe in the multiverse thing, you can sit here and type in multiverse movies on Google on on Google and YouTube right now and they tell you. And a fun fact about Doctor Strange, the movie was garbage. Uh but the the Fun fact about Doctor Strange, uh, I think it was uh, a channel that I follow. They basically said that Doctor Strange um, was filmed at CERN. It was or wasn't filmed at CERN. But um, but CERN was involved with the uh, second Doctor Strange movie that came out, in which case, pretty much, it, it's something that you have to watch. I mean, it gets into, uh, like, I've talked about this stuff. On, um, on 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 my channel about doppelgangers and multiple universes, also other stuff, how you coexist. Um, I wouldn't say coexist, but like, you know, for every decision you didn't make, um, you make the opposite. And a movie that better explains that, that uh, actually, uh, uh, Mother of God, that actually um, talks about what, um, what I explained in my uh, universe video about the Mandela effect, all this other stuff. It's explained in the movie, anywhere, everywhere, all at once. And it talks about, and it, it's something that, it, it's something pretty much that you have to go to the movie theater and see it. Because um, it gets to the point where they start talking about how, um, it gets to a point where if you're aware of what's going on in one dimension, then basically that causes awareness to um, your other half in another dimension where you have a normal life. And it talks about decisions, all this other stuff. But then it gets all science fiction and stuff. It's something that you have to watch. Um, I highly recommend that you see that film for what it is, because it talks about a lot of things. And it also talks about how basically um, when something happens in this dimension, that it's a, it affects another dimension. So um, I've talked about um, in uh, uh, shift change videos or whatever the case is, how you have a jabbed family member, a family member that's taking the mark of the beast. That affects that decision that they that they made now. They um, and we could also be seeing this, too. Um, but that just dawned on me that I felt like I had to say that, um, that if your family member is jabbed in here in another dimension, they aren't jabbed and God could bring them over here. Now I'm not going to sit here and claim that that could happen, that, that that's going to happen, but it could happen. Um, and in all honesty. So, um, just a lot of stuff to keep in mind. And in that movie, anywhere, everywhere, all at once, I recommend that you watch that, um, as, as soon as possible. Um, as, uh, as fast as you can, because that is a movie that you should see. Um, what else was there? And it talks about, yeah, it talks about how you're affected in, in this dim in one dimension, then affects the other. Um, yeah. And pretty much everything I've talked about, even I think a cartoon dimension, they even have a joke where they're, where, um, the main lady and her daughter, they're like pinatas or whatever the case it is, which that's like a joke, but they're, they tell you, um, so that, 
and mother of god what else is there um yeah that's pretty much it really um everything else pretty much uh, i just wanted to update people on uh my thoughts on certain stuff make people aware of this stuff um just getting stuff out there other than that pretty much all i gotta sit here and tell you is, is that to just focus on god um god will uh um god will take care of you in terms of people talking about food shortages all this other stuff um, if you know about the whole shift change things, you know about it. But even in my personal life, I've talked about how somebody mysteriously paid for um, my mom's bills uh, years ago when I was younger and, and when I was like 19 or 20. Um, like somebody was literally, literally an unknown person, not even in our family, just paid for our bills. And the lady um, at the leasing office told my mom and said that, you know, somebody randomly paid for your bills. My mom told the lady that it was God. You know, God is looking out for you. Um, and so... God will take care of you. And so um, that and should I say this? Yeah, um, I was debating if I was going to say this, but in terms of how people are sitting over here talking about food shortages, all these other things in terms of like when this whole superpower thing actually does happen, um, it does happen. Let's just say that um, when God gives his chosen people the whole superpower thing and that goes off and obviously there's going to be food shortages. Um, the you know me and other people will basically be taking food um where they have it stored up and stuff um and we'll be helping people and, you know that goes back into basically god will um god keeps his promise and he looks out for his people so basically we um 144,000 god's people will literally be supplying uh people that call out to him basically i'm I paraphrase that but if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um so uh that um other than that there really is nothing much pretty much to focus on they're doing all these distractions all at once to distract people from the who and what they want to pass with uh china um if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't regardless it doesn't even matter at this point because we're getting closer and closer to the shift change and then a lot of other stuff so, um, so, and my, um, my thing is, um, that I tell you to obviously, even though I'm telling you to go to God is that if this stuff doesn't work out for them with the who and China and all this other stuff, you know, it's about the plan B, uh, cause that's also an Illuminati card game. Um, you know, if their plan doesn't work out, they have another one, in which case you should be concerned about what the other plan is. Um, so yeah, that, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to say. Um, I hope you got something out of this. Um, and what else was there? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, no, pretty much. And everything that I'm not allowed, not allowed to say on here is actually uh, pertaining to my life and, uh, the whole shift change thing. Um, cause there actually is a lot of stuff that I'm not actually not allowed to tell people, uh, and say, so, um, and, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. You enjoyed this. You got something out of this and just go to God, go to Jesus and uh, once again, pretty much uh, people say stuff about me because I was involved with What's Her Face, which, um, like, whatever, D don't really mention that lady's name anymore. But um, pretty much whatever you thought about me uh, is completely wrong. I mean, I've been open about who I am from the get go. But, um, you know, you were wrong. And now everything that I've been talking about, everything that I've been saying is actually happening right now. So um, this is, isn't the time to... Um, be ignorant to be uh say whatever oh do this go off your emotions because the minute you go off your emotions and you don't go um go to god or go off of logic you know you're going to end up you're going to end up in a situation that you can't get out of and things are um are are getting real bad and people are resulting since they can't get baby formula and food they're resulting to doing uh barbaric stuff and i've been hearing stuff this stuff hearing about this stuff either on the news or on my social media and so um, things are getting worse. And I remember a long time ago in my first or second video that I ever posted on here, I talked about how people will turn into goats or pigs, which is a metaphor for demons, and their skin will come off. And I told somebody on the phone that there actually was a case where a guy, when he got uh, initially, uh, when this stuff was coming out, this medicine was coming out, a guy, he, the skin came off his legs and he had a giant rash on his back. And there's like a bunch of other people where they had like decaying feet and everything. So people's skin... I wouldn't be surprised if people's skin, people's skin is coming off of their uh, body. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got to say. 
So uh, God bless you, and I uh, hope you have a blessed day.